okay we're going to start the process by looking at the app data first i've added two custom fields for the name and the provider but just to capture the information from the sso uh, login component uh, what you'll see is right now i have three users what i'm going to do is go through the login process and have an additional user created uh, inside the all users uh, data the user is going to be info and i'm looking to get the user's name and provider name uh, once the process is complete. So switching over to, so this is the home page. It presents you with the login button. Click on the login button. We see the list of uh, providers. I've configured it in the design mode in Bubble. We'll look at that in a bit. Selected info. What it's come back to the login page. At this point, it's signing the user up into Bubble creating a new user and showing the information. What information you're seeing over here is actually fetched from the current user's uh, name and uh, uh, email email and provider information. It has not been fetched from the SSO profile. All right, so now let's go to the design. What you see is we've got the user in here and it's given me the name of the user and the provider. Okay, so what did I do to, to actually set this up? So first we go into the login home page. All I need to do over here is drop the SSO profile component. Nothing else needs to be done. It just needs to be there on the page with all of the other elements. And if I then switch over to the sign up page, All right, on this page, you need to drop both of the components, the SSO profile component, which just sits there. It's never visible during runtime. And the SSO user interface element, which allows you to pick the providers that you want to offer to the end user. Now, when it offers uh, the authentication plugin, all of these providers go through path fixes, client ID and secrets. There's a way to add those customize those or white label those, we'd probably cover that in a different video. From here, we switch on, switch over to the workflow. This is a profile A is set. When the profile is set, we want to do three actions. One is sign the user up, log the user in and go to the home page. Okay, now just we just quickly go through those settings of each of these actions so when we sign the user up we need to give it an email and a password uh, we can keep the password the same every time it does it not doesn't necessarily have to be any you could have uh, you know a secret uh, internal password of your choice you then assign the name and the provider from the information that uh, you receive through the sso profiles name and provider all right one additional thing that we need to check over here is that we create the user only if it does not exist in the database now by default if, if you don't actually include this condition uh, your workflow will fail because uh, bubble won't allow duplicate email IDs in the uh, in the user creation process so uh, it's quite simple though you just search for the user match the email name with the uh, with the email fetched by the sso profile component uh, and make sure that the count is zero uh, if not it will actually skip the step and just go ahead and log the user in using the same email and password that you've provided in the screen So there's a few uh, further workflows that we've created, but none of these are related to the sign-on process. It just alters the state of the user interface based on whether the user is logged in or logged out. Uh, just a final step to do is uh, when the button, when the logout button is clicked, we want to sign the person out. Before we sign out the person from Bubble, you need to sign the user out from the SSO profile component as well. 
and uh, that's about it uh, you know you'll have your complete flow ready and integrated with your existing login process in no time thank you